Oh, and then in the bed later, oh man, too bad we missed out on cooking things. Oh, let's get Taco Bell. But okay. I want you got, and it might be hard to handle. Montage eating Taco Bell. And a flame burns a candle. Oh, no, no, no. And then candle feeds a flame. Oh, God. Jesus. Shitting Taco Bell. Jesus. Oh, yeah. We're making our dreams. You know? Runk. <laughs>
Hello, man. No, life. I don't know. Hello, man. Life. There was a line from something that I didn't know oh, what no. it was. Oh no! You gonna ask people to know? No, I oh, yeah. I, I found out. <coughs> Yeah. And don't act like that would be bad if I did that though. That's well, cool I just that I like you know use Google for the thing, not our audience, right? Obviously, I would try and it didn't okay. come up. Anyway, somebody saved my life on House Guest. You don't need to save my life this time because I figured it out okay. on my own, thanks so to nobody else. So it was a villain saying the the name Kincaid like this. Kincaid isn't that RoboCop? No, it was the cartoon Spawn, the Violator cartoon. Oh, Violator was saying. <laughs> And when I discovered what it was, actually a friend of mine showed it to me because well, I needed help and mm -hmm. he did it for me. Thank you. Well, so far. Thank you, Ben. So far, that's the most, this is the most boring the podcast has ever been. Now here. listen to this though. So, and that's fine because we got our diehards, you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> we got our diehards and they're still listening, but this is the most boring the podcast has ever been. And that's great, right? <laughs> if, if, you know what I mean? We're talking about Kincaid and Spawn. We're talking about, I don't even remember, honestly. So that's great. We talked about Oliver Anthony and everybody else is talking about that. So it's not that bad. That is true. And Oliver Anthony is a good singer. And He's a good uh, singer. Everybody's mad at him now though, because why? he called America a melting pot. And all the people who were supporting him and loving him on the so right, they're mad the far now? right, dude. Yeah, like that's not Why is that even controversial. No, America it's not. is a melting pot. It just is, whether you like it yeah, or not. Yeah, there's a lot of people from a lot of different places. I mean, that places. was Reagan's whole thing. Like, if you're on the right, you love Reagan. Come on, everybody. <laughs> so what's the deal? He just want they, they, it's white people that are like, or what? I don't understand. It's people on the far right that are like, it's not a melting pot. That it, it's he was saying it in a positive light. Right. So if he was like, it's a melting pot and I hate that, uh, they would have liked that. But well, yeah, but only still though, don't you think that's a fringe of people? Like I, it just seems like everybody's mad at him. Oh, well, sure. But right. Twitter makes it always seem like that. Right, right, right. But, right, right. but a ton of people on Twitter were ganging up on him being like, oh, mm -hmm. we thought you were our hero, but you think America's a melting pot and that's a good thing. So we hate you. Got it. Yeah. Like a lot of Christian nationalists. Because uh, people freakazoids yeah. were like that. Because yeah. people don't like me on Twitter, but I go out on and, and, and on the street, and everyone stops me and takes pictures and shit. Did you know that? That's real life. That Twitter is not real life. Isn't that crazy? I just someone just did it right now. It happens to me too. So it's I not even a thing. See, so I don't even listen to no, but it happens. So I don't even listen to people when they say something to, to me. Like no if shit, I hear, man. we know. No, no, no. I, I'm like, oh, maybe they're talking to me, and I don't know. But some guy. I, all of a sudden, I kept hearing the talking. I'm walking here. I kept hearing the talking. He's like, come on, man. He's like, I know you heard me. And I'm like, mm. oh, wait, what? And I turn around. He's like, I love your podcast, man. And I'm like, oh, shit. I was like, he's like, can I get a picture? And I was like, sure. And I took a picture. And then he stood there. And I was like, cool. Well, thank you, man. And then I, and I, walked, and I walked over here. So it Now was, who's boring? Now well, I was who's trying boring, to fit dude. with the theme. The last time someone recognized me, it was these two women. And they were like doing like this. <laughs> were they Look rabbits? Looking at me, yeah, and they were eating little pieces of lettuce. Wow. <laughs> and I noticed them, and I was like, what do I got? Like, it, it happens to me not enough that every time it happens, I think, like, I got something on my face or something. Okay. You know what I mean? It doesn't happen, huh? It, no, I just said it does. I just literally just said it does. Never? But it doesn't happen as much as it does <laughs> to, like, truly famous people because obviously i'm not that okay and i obviously should be that but oh. i'm not um but yeah i <laughs> think i should be famous uh dude yeah. i should be famous. and then it turned out they <laughs> they they knew who i was and they were mm -hmm. like oh he's the greatest and i was no. like oh i know that you think that and no. a lot of people think that but no. i don't think that about myself okay other a lot of people other people think I'm the if greatest. this was a real conversation it'd be the weirdest conversation <laughs> they'd be like uh, okay yeah, yeah yeah um but yeah and I was like, do you guys want a picture of me? And they were like, yeah, we obviously do. And I was like, no. okay. Wow. <laughs> Weirdest poses. <laughs> I mean, you know? <laughs> Bad. Hold your tits. Hold your tits. <laughs> Dude. Um, game, that was Gamerville. Remember Gamerville? Dude, Gamerville. So that sick. was like MySpace days, right? That was MySpace. There was a guy that we saw his profile and he was like this, Gamerville. And his thing, the, the thing under was called Gamerville. And everything yeah. was Gamerville. It was, a, it was a high school picture, though, which is the was best it? part. I remember. He had a bright yellow buttoned up collared shirt <laughs> on, and he was super handsome. Yeah. And he was like a teenager, though. And he posed like this super serious. And yeah, Gamerville. Uh, hey, dude, we can't, nope. but we can't get out of the boringness right now. <laughs> We uh, cannot get out of the boringness. Uh, We're stuck in a fucking quicksand of boringness. This is damn. boring as shit. Dude, I'm actually getting upset. How do we make it better? This podcast is, right now, this episode is the legit most boring episode <laughs> we've ever done. Out of 60 episodes. I don't think so. You I think don't? It's, I think it's really good so far. <laughs> no, I dude, really okay. do. That's we've been, crazy. We've been laughing. We're having fun. Everybody, they're, they're laughing. Yeah, but you think it's... You, I did the poses. That was good. That, that was good, but yeah. like, you know... 
Ever since Nostralissimo, yeah. it's been downhill. Wow. I guess the poses were good. Nostralissimo was good, yeah. But come on, dude. I'm getting upset, man. All right. Well, then this could start submissions. I guess we'll so, but we should up. be more entertaining. You want to get entertaining before we start I, I don't know. I mean, we, I, we don't need that, right? No. I think we're good, though. I think we're being great. All right. All right. We're being great. All right. So let's do the first one. Okay. Here we go. And here we go. Hi, Matt and Chris. I love you both. Chris, you. I saw you in November in Boston and it was an awesome, awesome show. I just need some advice. So my brother has been dating this girl for the past two and a half years uh -oh. and I just don't like her at all. Yeah, I can wow. tell. Um, she's very, very inauthentic. She tries really, really hard to get me to like her uh -oh. in, a, in a really weird people pleasing way and it just rubs me the wrong way. Okay. They're around very often, twice a week, and I'm just looking for some advice on how to tolerate her just to keep a good relationship with my brother. Um, so any advice would help. Thank you. The only thing she said is, hey guys, I need advice. I don't like my brother's girlfriend. She tries to be too nice. Uh, so just based off what she said, that doesn't sound bad. She's the problem. Yeah. Uh, no, I think she buys I, me gifts and she gives me massages. It's really annoying. She always tells me how nice I look. No, but Ooh, what I, how do I get rid of her? What I did do I deal from with that, that was that like yes, that is how, how I'd be her. around her. But because she's calling with a problem purportedly, I right. would imagine the way she does. I, I understand actually. There are people who I've known who want me to like them so bad. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. It makes me hate them. Well, but okay, but it doesn't make you hate them, or is it just uncomfortable around them? And you're like, you don't want to be around them because that's different. Okay, but if it's let's say it's that it's two times a week, that's a lot. It is, but it sounds like this person is a good person, right? But it's still a good, valid question. This really bothers her. How is she supposed to deal? With? She's okay. not saying like, how do I confront she her? She said, about "I really it? don't like her." Is what she said. Fine. Okay, but I'm, I'm saying the saying, problem at hand is, is that important. she's being made uncomfortable by it. Okay, and she wants advice on how yeah. to deal with it. Tell her to chill. To hit. Look, you don't need to impress me. I already don't like you. You're never going <laughs> to win me over. <laughs> I mean, that would look. Hey, look. You suck. What's let's call a spade a spade. You suck. <laughs> and let's move on, dude. And until my brother gets a new girlfriend, I won't be happy. So it's all good, dude. Here's the thing. I see it what's, twice a week. What's weird is that that actually would be the best thing for everybody, but she can't do that. Because that's... That would not be the best thing. That would be breaking the, the social contract. Worst thing for every individual involved. No, it would be... The brother would be awful. She would cry. No, but and then the just, person would feel bad about it. Just the first part. Just the first part where you're like, look, you don't have to try to impress me. I don't like you and I'm not going to like you, but that's fine. It's so hardcore, dude. We could we could just tolerate each other. Everything will be great. You don't have to try to make me like you. Dude. I don't, and I'm not going to. That would make things better. Two envelopes. Slide one over to her. Mm -hmm. Don't like you. Mm -hmm. Slide another one over. <laughs> not going to. Why, why do the envelopes? Because it's so hardcore. If you give me hardcore, it'd be so hardcore. Is it like, it should be personalized stationary too. It should know? be like in really beautiful writing and like, a hearts and stuff mm. so it like, like oh this is so sweet you know mm. don't like you and then and then not gonna yeah. and 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 it, the the disrespect of not even referring to the first card is the best for the second card oh i have a good i, I think you should have a third one what when she reads the second one she's obviously going to have some kind of reaction yeah yeah yeah, she's yeah, gonna yeah say like something yeah, yeah. and then you just go uh, uh. <laughs> slide over the third one and the, and the third she opens the third one and says don't bother <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't waste your breath is even better actually yeah, don't yeah, waste yeah. Your breath. uh just just do you love your brother yes then like it's fine dude she's just you're with her twice you see her twice a week yeah but if you really want like tips on how to handle it dude haven't you experienced life all you got to do is smile nod and then like turn and talk to somebody else two times a week is a lot it is, but like you obviously don't want is to be mean a, to her for the sake of your brother. Is this a deal with it situation? Is this a, hey, deal with it? The advice is deal yeah, with it? deal with it? I mean, kind of, but just like, yeah. Just I think like, it's deal with you it. You have to, only because, look, if you don't really have a great relation with your brother, then all bets are off. Let loose mm. and let it fly mm. and let her rip and let him have it. And let it all hang out, okay, right? You know, so many. And let's get it on, baby, baby. You no, know what well, I'm saying? That's not right. All right. You want to fuck her? No. no, like, let's get it on. Like, let's fight. Oh, okay. Um, let's get it on, dude. And then let's get uh, ready to rumble. Uh, I hate you. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, I hate you. Uh, so disgusting. Doing this for the my kissing. Doing this for my brother. Uh, because, ew. <laughs> um, <laughs> God damn it. You're such a people. Uh, 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 the worst kisser in the world. The worst kisser in the world. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, deal with it. That's my favorite thing I do. Here's my and advice. Here's my advice. Grow up. No, rate my hair. Quick, rate my hair. Eight. Really? Seven. Anthony, dude. Seven. Um, it's pretty good today. Really? Pretty good uh, yeah, today, it's yeah. it's good today. Yeah, Marco. Uh, that's as good as it looks. Whoa! Oh! Oh! So oh, no! 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 Dude. Has always hated your hair. No, that's has always wanted to tell you he hates your hair, but couldn't because we're live now. Had an opportunity, so he said something that wasn't dishonest. No! 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 Let but, me say that again. Okay. That's the best. Well, hang on. What am I trying to say? That's the best your hair can look. Yeah, that's still the rude. best still version rude. of your hair. Still rude. That's still the rude. best version of your hair. No, I think it's so dick. Still rude. Still rude. So wait, this is the best my hair can look. Yeah. A a in a, but the way you're saying it sounds so bad. No, it sounds like you're dealing with a shithead of hair, and he's no. just like, you do it. You're making the best of what yeah, you got. Yeah, that is how it's. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that is how it sounds. Hey, hey, it's what it is. That's what he says after. <laughs> All right. Well, no, okay. All right. So ten out of ten for my hair, but not ten out of ten for hair. That's the fucked up part, right? All right, whatever. Right. It's 10 fine. out of 10 for your hair, 4 out of 10 <laughs> for hair. It doesn't even get onto the actual, right. what do you call it, rating system when yeah. it comes to just hair. Okay. Well, All right. All right. All right, next one. Next one. I mean. Yo, a, Matt. Yo, Chris. A guy from Lord so of the Rings. So evil. It's good. Just got back from the gym. Oh, no. Just show him what the gym is made for, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Bro, this guy's so nervous. But, you know? uh. But okay. for real, in all seriousness. Oh, start over, start uh, over, start over. Could be from Lord of the Rings, right. honestly. This guy he's is a Lord so of the Rings nervous, face. And this is the way he copes. But he it. has Lord of the Rings face. Right. Yo, Matt, yo, Chris. What's good? Gonna rap. Just got nervous. back from the gym. Just show him what the gym is made for, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. yeah, I do. But uh but for real in all yeah. seriousness. <laughs> uh recently I went to a drive thru to pick up some food. Cool. And there was a girl at the drive-thru window who was pretty cute. Cool. And I wanted to just kind of give her a compliment. I'm just being like, uh -oh. hey, you're really pretty or whatever. And as she was handing me my food, I was like, hey, you're super cute. Like, I was like, uh, thank you for the food. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you're super cute or whatever. And immediately she was like, oh, okay. Uh, or like, not like that. It was more like, it was just kind of like a, like, okay, like I want to leave kind of thing. Okay. And like, she wanted to kind of close the drive-thru window. It was just a really weird response. Huh. And I was like really confused because mm -hmm. I was like, I don't think I was being weird about no, it. And I was like, weren't. sorry, I don't, I'm not trying to be weird. I just wanted to compliment yeah. or whatever. And then she was like, all right, all right. And like, just like, see ya. And I was like, okay, like enjoy your food. Let's see, bye. You know, it was just very weird. Yeah. Um, Sounds like it. He was na so naked. So I guess I'm just wondering, is like, am I the one being weird? Was she Ooh. weird with her reaction? Um, are compliments like that like like can you give compliments like that where you're just kind of straight up yeah. um does the context matter a bit that's it what, being a drive through or something like that with, yeah. you think it's weird because also to get your i just I, I would like to get your guys general uh thoughts on compliments it's weird, as a whole yeah. like how you would go about that and stuff like that so anyway i don't know uh thanks so much for your guys's podcast it's awesome Thanks, bro. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Keep Thanks, man. For trailing off. You're a good guy. Yeah, I don't feel like I don't feel like that's weird at all. Oh, it, thanks. No, oh, you're super cute, by the way. It's not weird, but it's totally understandable that it would make her uncomfortable. Yeah, you never oh, know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true, because you don't know about... She obviously, you know, her dad died early, and maybe she has a lot of trauma, but like... You have no idea what someone else is going through. You have no mm -hmm. idea, mm -hmm. like, the... Ex experience she's what having if, of you doing that she could have just had something bad happen right before uh, yeah true who the yeah. hell knows at what all if you so, found, what if he found out that the place was actually in the process of getting robbed and he had no idea <laughs> afterwards he's like oh, that's why she was so weird he would be like oh i feel better now and he wouldn't care that it got robbed you know um yeah 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 <clears throat> but yeah, look these things happen and you gotta the best advice i got ever got about stuff like this you have a bad experience in life that isn't that meaningful, but it affects you in a way that you kind of can't let it go. Not me. Think of it like toilet paper. I mean, you it's, wipe your ass with it? You wipe your ass with it one time. Wow. It's got shit on it. And what do you do? You flush it down the toilet. You don't think about that anymore. You don't again. wipe again. It's you just wipe gone. Time. You wipe one time and then you're done. Uh, no, but like it, it, it's in your past. It is done. It was a weird, clunky, awkward yep. thing how it happened. That's good. Though. It's not indicative of how it's going to happen in the future. It's not indicative of what you did that warranted the weird feelings that rose after she said what she said. It's nothing. It's it's nothing. Mm -hmm. It just happened. And 
<clears throat> life goes on. Go. So it, yeah. I get what you're, where you're coming from. Like, did I do it weird? Was it wrong? Was it yeah. wrong to say? No, no, no. Unless you did it weird, but it doesn't sound like you did. But like people are going to react weird sometimes when you comment on their physical appearance, even if it's a good thing, mm. especially women, because women ostensibly, especially in, in this case, if she's a, as you say, cute girl, she probably gets it a lot and doesn't know what to do with it, especially at work. It makes sense, dude. Like you got to just... <sighs> It's on. Her. It's it's not weird that you did it, but it, you got to accept the reaction yeah. you're going to get if you're going to go out on a limb like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's fine. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. Who cares? I would have doubled down. What What's up with the weirdness? Oh wow, you're cute. <laughs> Can I get a straw? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're really cute. Uh, by the way, he didn't even fucking describe what she did well at all because you know it was worse than what he was saying. I, I know that yeah, right, i know that yeah, yeah. he was like hey you're cute and she was like okay well she was like her and then like yeah. it was kind of weird and then i said oh uh just was saying you're cute don't want to be weird and then she was like or uh you know and then i don't know it just ended dude you know, how she about was when, like fuck yeah. you motherfucker <laughs> get out of here dude when guys tell stories yeah. and they're got really good specific details yeah, yeah, and yeah. then there's a part where yeah. they're like it's so wishy-washy yeah. and mushy they, and you're they, like they, wait 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 what do you what's the thing that happened they either fucked they up they still do it though they, then when they repeat it they're like it was like this and you're like yeah it still doesn't yeah, make yeah, sense. yeah 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 or they got their ass handed to them their brains are like eh, eh, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah they can't do it yeah. you know what i mean they do can't not tell. expose yourself yeah 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 uh so yeah the girl obviously threw the drink in his face and mm -hmm. even if that happened honestly it's fine whatever god i wish we could like watch a video of yes happened. that yeah. would oh that's so We'll yeah, pay. my we'll mind doesn't even go there because I I feel heartbroken that we can't. So I, I mean that's just bro. You want that so bad? I want it so bad. That yeah. I didn't even think of it, and now you broke my heart. Thank you, Marco. Thanks, Chris. Oh. Hey, you broke you my heart. You legitimately broke my heart by You're bringing welcome. that up. You're welcome. I didn't hey. even go there. My Thanks pleasure. for. Uh, I would. Could you imagine uh, getting to see that? <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> Why would, are you laughing? It would be so upsetting, it though. It would be the best. It would be the best, dude. What thing. if it was a bad angle, though? How upsetting would that be? I they would get so mad. I quit the podcast and and congratulate, dude. I would right. kill just for audio of what happened. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah, fucking yeah. weird, dude. Get out. <laughs> no, I was just saying you're you're cute. Get out. Take the food and you're fr it's free. Go. Also, I really wonder what he said actually. Nice if he's, tits. <laughs> why would she get mad at that? <laughs> I thought she had um, nice tits. Um, yeah, no, you gotta. What do you? You gotta ex here's the thing for guys just like in Why general if you're gonna compliment a woman that you don't know that's a stranger it's you're basically coming at it like well it's fair game i can say what i want you got to accept the the responses that you get too if it's a negative one then that's that's it that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got to just let it go. It's done. That's, She's allowed to do that. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's fine. But it's like why can't you say nice tits to a girl, honestly? It's kind of weird if you think because about it. Because it's overtly sexualizing men. I know. And women don't want strangers to come up to them and and overtly. Oh, then why that. are you asking if you know? I'm just saying if if somebody came up to me and said, well, you look like you got a healthy package. But I wouldn't necessarily be bothered about that. But that's because of society. No, it's know. because that kind of thing doesn't happen I to know. men ever. So you don't have uh -huh. to worry about what the person is thinking when and they're that saying. that is exactly right. Oops, and that's you're what asking we're questions. <laughs> and while I'm answering, you're talking over every single word that I say. But I know that. And I'm just saying that that you shouldn't do that. So you're asking questions but if you that say you bad know tits, the answer to. But if you say bad tits, that's even worse. Sure. But yeah, it that, is, would right? be, that would be worse. Hey, yeah. bad tits. <laughs> yeah, that would be worse. Yeah. Or if somebody came up to you and said, you look like you got a small dick. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, that would be, that would actually be hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> How funny would that be, dude? Yeah, that would be really good. Really good. Sir, it looks like you have a small penis. Yeah. Anyway, excuse me, are you in line? <laughs> well, people do that. People say you got small dick energy, you know? Yeah, I know, but that's not way like different than it looks like you have a small penis. Not strangers, though, dude. Right. Uh, Thomas, who that's a, that guy's name, who. Um, okay. We need uh, we we want more specifics. Yeah, we want come on, I want more video. specifics, honestly. And when you submit it, say exactly what happened. Yeah. yeah. What did she do? Don't tiptoe around it. Say exactly what happened. Excruciating details. Yeah, excruciating for you details. Yeah, for you. Okay, excruciating so for you. So and thanks. Supremely pleasurable for us. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and congratulations on looking like you have a face that somebody would be in Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. <laughs> so. I mean, he does, dude. It's unbelievable. Because he's small looking, you mean? No, just his face with the beard and the, the color of his hair, you know? Okay. Okay, yeah. It's fucking, frankly, goddamn annoying. <laughs> cool. Dies in the first one. Cool. Hey, guys. It's McKenna from San Diego. Hey. Little baby. Uh, 
Um, I recently discovered your podcast because I was like typing into Spotify, like life advice slash what do I do with my life? That's and hilarious. it came up and I'm so happy it did because you guys make me laugh so hard. Aww. I might have a six pack from things that you've said. Aww. So well, wow, that's you. the coolest thing Laugh tacks all around. And I <laughs> want advice on basically my life. I feel so fulfilled. I have the dream job. I, oh. you know, Sounds I do like a bunch of cool hobbies, get back, all of that stuff. Have a really good community, but I still find myself thinking all the time, like, but what is it all for? Oh, yeah. Like, why are we here? And so Funny. I guess my, yeah, if you have any advice on not thinking so existentially all the time, that'd be awesome. And also, I'm looking for my partner in crime. So if you know of any, like, open-minded, nature-loving goofballs, that's cool. Know, send them my way. I know some. <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. Bye. I know some. We never got a... Uh, uh, submission that said that uh yeah. but we, we I guarantee we you guys nature lovings we're gonna get a lot of guys writing to hey. us on instagram being like yeah. i'm this can you put me in touch with yeah. her um that i mean honestly i think that we would be perfect together i'm you know? a i'm a fun loving goofball yeah <clears throat> um uh, okay gamer it's gamerville honestly yeah i'm a fun i would set goofball. her up with gamerville in a yeah. heartbeat dude he or died he's dead by now he's dead or now. Not, nostralisimo has been dead for 700 years <laughs> um <laughs> i I suffer sort of from the same thing or have historically in my Not life. Me. And honestly, like reading and certain specific kinds of books have like quelled like that cli- kind of anxiety. And, and Andromeda the, Strain. <laughs> yeah, right. Anything exactly. by Junker. No, Congo, yeah. Uh, Congo for me was a big one. Uh, <laughs> Michael Crichton. No, um, like particularly on the subject of evolutionary biology Jurassic Park because once I start to understand why my brain works the way it does Mm -hmm. why I think existentially why I'm Mm -hmm. this or that or anxious or whatever it is and I get I can get like biological answers Mm. it calms that those parts of my brain down wow it seems like it would make me way more anxious oh really that's I think so well no because once you get answers you're like you're not you're like oh wait my mind's doing that because I guess so millions of years of evolution but we all live in the matrix then you start thinking about that and you're like oh fuck you know what i mean well that only happens if you're a fucking idiot if i'm not an idiot and okay. i don't do that but i'm just saying you could okay well only idiots are like oh well, we live in the matrix do you know what i, I mean <laughs> so well, yeah. i do I, I think that we're not in the matrix but we could be we you, could be do you in. what do you mean by the matrix though this we're is, not really living this life and it's a simulation and we're all in incubators and stuff and we're plugged in Okay, that's what you mean. Sure, that's possible. Okay. We could be all living in a simulation, okay. but if you mean the Matrix of the movie... No, 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 I don't okay. mean that because I... Yeah, I don't mean that because I've met Lawrence <laughs> Fishburne and he's not Morpheus. Lawrence Fishburne <clears throat> is a king among men. Oh. He was Cowboy Curtis in Pee Wee Herman, oh, he Pee Wee's yeah. Playhouse, uh-huh. and it's the coolest thing ever that he was that and he lied about his age to Francis Ford Coppola to be able to get into Apocalypse Now and he has a huge role in that movie illegally he was 16 when he did it dude isn't that Whoa. crazy what a fucking cool person back then person. you could do that I guess yeah huh? dude <laughs> there's footage of him like at the table reads and stuff he's so obviously a kid Whoa. but he successfully lied he got the role and is amazing in it and and then he did the major he's done so many fucking cool things I know I didn't even know he was Lawrence in Apocalypse Fishburne, Now I know you're listening <laughs> You love this show, and I just want you to know we love you back. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what about you for the for the? Uh, <clears throat> I think that that'll probably go away a little bit with age. She seems like she's in her early twenties, and mm. you know she's got she's got a lot of living to do. And uh, it, I mean, that's just like what is it all for? Is like that's kind of like a you don't you, the, the the to even think that is egotistical because it's like what is it all for like you like you know like you know enough about what's going on that you get to think oh what's the grander purpose like you might figure it out you won't you right. won't but yeah sure if she's so like, you're being very egotistical and frankly means, what is the you meaning? need to be taken down a notch <laughs> wow uh but that's not necessarily what she means i if if that is what she means yeah. then sure but i don't think she's like what's the meaning of Okay. What's my purpose here on Earth? Yeah, oh, okay. You don't. Oh, all right. I got it. I thought I, thought I, guess, I heard it I as thought. more of a broader question. Like, what is all this? What's right. going on around us? Why is are things the way that they are? It's, it's You'll so never much know, thing. though. Dude, I remember the very first time 
I looked into the sky and realized the epicness of space Not and time. Me. And I, it was, it wasn't my first true anxiety attack, but mm. it was like the beginning of me being on the way to getting anxiety yep. attacks. Not me. I was with Nick Marquand. Shout out to Nick Marquand. Oh uh, boy, Nick. And we were at a lookout. We weren't being gay, but it was just us. Well, I mean, we okay. were so just, far it sounds gay. We were just kids. Looking and we at the were sky. drinking beer, looking up at the sky. Two men looking remember, at the sky. And I remember telling gay. Nick, like, An I'm starting movie. to feel like so overwhelmed. And he was like, yeah, me too. Kiss me. And then we made out. <laughs> and swore we would never talk about it again and i didn't believe him so i threw him off the cliff and killed him wait but oh wow okay well i guess i haven't seen him in a long time yep i killed him <clears throat> wow this remember is my his confession dad? of course when he would root for the raiders oh come on raiders yeah okay and he had a dog named Brock. me he had a dog did you just fart well me <laughs> shaggy uh <laughs> chris just farted no well me how do you know donald trump uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he had a dog named Rocky. He loved the Raiders. Yo. And uh, ah, Rocky. Oh. Ah, come on, Raiders. <laughs> it, was, it was cool. He was the man, dude. He had a Ned Flanders like mustache. Yeah, he looked he was like Ned Flanders. He was Ned Flanders. So anyway. One time late, years later, I saw him without the mustache, mm -hmm. and I was like, this is not working for Were me. Were things I, not going I don't, for him? I don't want to look at you. What do you mean? Just like shaved. He's just like, oh man. No, it's like way later. The Raiders are, aren't even. Uh, they're not even with us anymore. The, uh, he. They're Oakland. It was at a wedding, and he just looks. It was like you're not you. Get the mustache back. We'll talk. Wow, my yeah. friends' dads. We'll talk. My friends' dads. It, when I was in high school, honestly, every single goddamn one of them. Yeah. If they walked in a room. Yeah. And said hi. Yeah. I'm one of your friends in high school's dad. Which one am I? Okay. I would have no idea. I'd have never seen my friends' dads in high school. Whoa, really? Because they, they would be all. home once or twice. No, I don't know. Like you have, I remember your friends' dads. Oh, I see. What I you're don't saying. remember my friends' dads, dude. I don't have a clue who they you were. You had a really weird I did. assembly of friends, I did. like Morgan Daisaki. Yeah, but also I, even the regular ones. I wouldn't know their fucking faces. Their dads. Dave Meeting. Who, what's his dad look like? I don't know. Is Josh Oakley, what's his dad look like? I don't know. I they're your friends. You should. Know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm one of your friends' dad from high school. What am I? Who who am I? I go like this, uh, and run away. Well, lucky for you, that's never going to happen. You yeah, know? Dave not. Meeting's they're dad dead. comes up to you probably. and is like, Dave Meeting's dad. Probably you were dead. friends with my son in high school. I'm their dad. Who am I? Worst game show. <laughs> you know, no one does that. Uh, Josh. <laughs> oh, four people in the audience is all his family. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, no, he died a long time ago. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is the saddest game show. It's also <laughs> six minutes, you know? <laughs> it's uh, how it couldn't be more than two, one or two episodes, you know? You would need like 30, like 12 dads to yeah, fill a whole show. And that show. would be one show. No, yeah. And then, and then I would not have any more. Morgan Doizaki's dad. Oh, yeah. I would know him. He's Japanese. That's Morgan Doizaki's dad, right? Do you know what he looked like? No, but I would I say I have the, one Japanese sure, yeah, dad yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, anyway. That's cheating, but yeah. Not really. I, I'm very eclectic with my friends. All right. Next one. <clears throat> What's up, Matt? What's up, Chris? Um, I'm a newlywed. I've been married for a month now. Congrats. And um, so pretty much I do all the cooking, mm -hmm. which is fine because <laughs> I've grown up cooking and I'm a little bit better at it, and it's kind of what I do. But my wife will almost uh, maybe once a week, twice a week, she'll have these Pinterest recipes, and she great. insists on trying them. Mm -hmm. oh. And um, they're awful. Every week they're <laughs> awful, absolutely awful. And um, how do you navigate telling her, hey, I appreciate this meal that you just spent an hour cooking, but now I need to go to a uh, Taco Bell to eat something <laughs> for dinner because that was awful. Well, so, yeah, let's let me know start what you not think, saying uh, that. how I should handle this. I wish he said that. Um, appreciate it if you guys end up into it. Died. 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 Appreciate it if you guys end up. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it if you guys end up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Uh, 
Honey, I made chicken parma. Ah! <laughs> um, so you're kind of you're kind of in a bad situation, my friend. I, it, it's actually, man. I got to tell you something. I, I I I've never really thought about this because Kristen is a, she cooks. I wish she cooked more. She's great, but you you gotta like that's got to be horrible because they're doing something so beautiful and so nice. I mean, that's awesome. If you have somebody yeah. in your home that cooks for you, whether or not, it, whoever it is, that's awesome. Home cooked meals are the shit. Of course. Of you know, course, of course. Of um, course. And, and if she's doing it, I, look, he likes to cook and all that, but like he gets two nights off because she's going to do the Pinterest shit. And then they're just dog shit. How are you that bad? If, if you're following the recipe instructions, yeah, that is pretty it's weird. He, like, it sounds like he could be a little bit like, why don't you help? The cook. What do you, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That's a great advice. Te help her. Do and, a teacher. And also you'll be like, you'll get points for being like help, uh, someone who helps yeah. your partner. Every, pa everyone wants help cooking. Good. Dude, you know what? Here's the deal. This is great. She wants to be a take care. She wants to take care of, of you or the family, whatever it is, dude, you come in, you help her. She's going to feel so connected to you. You're not even going to get the meal made because you're going to end up making love. Oh my God. Yep. Put a little bit of spices in there and <laughs> oh, 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 I'm not there. <laughs> so stir it. <laughs> I mean, how many hey, times it in one episode can you do the disgusting kissing thing? <laughs> what was that putting all the stuff away uh, <laughs> a mime uh, uh, just a mime you know? closing the oven and turning it off and then... okay okay well oh oh and then in the bed later oh man too bad we missed out on our cooking things oh let's get taco bell what okay. i want you got and it might be hard to handle montage eating taco bell and a flame burns a candle and then Candle feeds a flame. Oh, God. Shitting Jesus. talk about this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make it our dream. <laughs> you know? I guess I know. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, Taco Bell, dude, you're gross. I don't trust your taste in food yeah, anymore. Yeah, Taco Bell. I, I don't, I question everything this guy said now. You want to go to Taco he's Bell? Probably just making, I'm, I'm assuming here's he's the, here's a joke. joke. Almost any, sure, any home-cooked meal is better than Taco Bell. I'm just going to go out on a limb. The Mexican pizza there is a one-way ticket to Diarissimo, okay? <laughs> All right, man, you know. It's just oh, a straight that he loves the up shit. one way Dude, ticket to Diarissimo. Here's the deal. It's not this show really shaped up to be a good show. I mean, yeah, at the beginning. Wow. We did good, yeah. But um it's just so yeah, I mean, you better use the when you do the clip, Anthony, when you better when you do the thing where it's like, hey, this happens later on the ep episode, you better do the shitting Taco Bell thing. <laughs> because that's the thing that'll really grab people's attention and then we start getting boring and then we get back into it i don't know if i agree okay just if, so, if i saw like a teaser of someone just like pretending to shit really aggressively <laughs> i might not keep watching you know you're acting like it's like a mega surefire way to get All eyeballs right. you know i'm just saying what's the one thing people <laughs> love more than anything People acting like they're aggressively shitting. The, the trailer to Quiz Show, that sh that movie, you know. Oh man, Quiz Show is a good movie. Thanks for bringing it up, man. I didn't, I didn't see it. I, I saw it a long time ago in the theater. We saw it in the theater. I saw out. it with you. Yep. Yeah. And mom so, and dad loved it. Mm -hmm. They really did, yeah. And I loved it too. Okay. Now we're back to boring. Okay, let's go. <laughs> hey Matt. Hey Chris. Halen here. I uh, need some advice. I'm currently moving out of my rental right now okay. and buying my first house. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Super nervous and exciting. Yeah. Um, what I, my question is, we are planning on painting the exterior of the house. So would you guys recommend doing it yourself or hiring someone? I know it can cost a lot to have someone come do it, yeah, but at the same can. time, doing it yourself is going to be a pain. Yeah. What do you guys think? Thank you. I actually, interestingly enough, just looked into what it costs to potentially paint a house. Yeah. I was going to say my house, but I didn't want people to know I have a house. But now they do. Okay. Uh, and it's so expensive. Well, getting paint people a to paint a house is so expensive. The outside of it? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, have you looked in? Have you ever? No, I like all the colors of my house. Okay. Well, Sis, how so is? much money. But then it, if you think about it, you're like, I guess, of course, it has to be. I guess. Yeah. But it's really expensive. So unless okay. your house looks like shit. He wants to paint it. Right. You want to paint it. Dude, 
Should I do it himself? He says. I mean, that's. I no. don't think. Leave it. You know what, dude? Honestly, leave it for a few years until you're friggin' bald, and then hire the guys. But maybe we he is. I mean, he high. bought a house. He's no got to have some money. He bought a house. Yeah. Hire some kids. <clears throat> How much is it to, to paint a house? Hire some. That's a good idea. How much that, is it to paint that, a house? That is a good idea. Why is everybody being cagey about how much it is to paint a house? Why? It, what'd you say? I said that's a terrible idea. You don't Why? hire kids to, hire to kids. Yeah. I don't mean eight year olds. Kids, yeah. How I mean, do like, I do it? Some high school kids. They only like, paint, hey, they only paint up to the bot like five feet up. <laughs> tell them to watch some YouTube videos. Yeah. About technique and then fucking. Oh, hold on, hold on. All you need to do is watch Karate Kid, first of all. Second of all, <laughs> how much does it cost to paint a house? Why is everybody being so gay? It depends on the house, obviously. But okay. 25 grand. What? Exactly. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Holy shit. Yeah, it's crazy. But then start to think about it. Then it's like, okay, it's a lot of work, many hours, just a, a lot color. of people. Just a color though. What, what color is his house is what I want to know. Oh, it's just run down, he's saying. Yeah, it doesn't matter what color. The color isn't what costs money. Mm, paint Look, purple. If you want it pink, that'll be 35 grand. If you want it white, that's just eight grand. No, like, that's I, not how it works. I, I know that. I'm you, saying, didn't know, you didn't know that until I said No, it. what I'm saying is I thought that it was a bad color and he wanted to repaint it, but in actuality, it just needs another paint job. Yeah, if it's a bad it's color, just it keep it. If it is falling apart, it's depressing and you need to fix it no matter what it costs. Yeah, true. You can't have something at your home or, or in your home or on your property just be straight up depressing. <laughs> and if the paint job is, is shitty and fucked up and worn, you, you got to fix it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it costs. You got to do mm, it. Interesting. So I would say save your, if you paint it, you're probably going to have it, have it painted in the next year or two anyway, because you're not going to do a great job unless you are a painter, which obviously you're not. Otherwise you wouldn't be asking this question. Right. You would just do it. A house painter. So get it, get, hire someone and get it done. Yeah. Just, yeah, consider Honestly, that part of the cost of the house. Hire someone and get it done or just don't do it. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Don't fucking hire Anthony Kids or whatever the fuck. Anthony Kids? Or, do not hire Anthony Kids. No, Mako said, I don't know who said it. But Mako like, said it. That's, and I agree though. That's terrible. That You're just going to redo it. It's going to look bad. It's going to look bad if they do it too though. What do you mean? If they themselves do it, that's going to look saying. bad. Yeah, yeah, oh, that, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, just hire someone. That's the cost of the house. I like that. Think of it like yeah, that. Yeah, lump That's it in with the cost, the down payment. That's the cost house. Check out these, dude. The cost Jordan, of doing business. Jordan 14. Hey, those are good. I never like. You these like shoes. these? Yeah. You always like my shoes. The colorway is amazing. Yeah. Well, you like these? The gray and the pink is always gonna be a good thing for me. All right. Which is that? Pink. That is pink. Yeah. I looked at it more like a beige thing, but okay. I guess you're right. Beige. That's pink. Okay. What? What? I mean, am I crazy? No, you're not crazy. I'm agreeing with you. Oh, okay. Beige, though. It's like saying, like, it could also be It looks a yellow. little... You know? No, 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 no. It looks a little muted pink, but yeah, yeah pink. Yeah, I okay. love muted. Muted pink is the way to go, though. All right. Like, way hot to go. pink kind of sucks. Mm. Barbie bombed. All right, next one. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Chris and Matt? You know, Sundays used to just be Sundays, but now they fucking rip, dude. Nice. Okay. So anyway, a guy I work with showed up to work a few months ago maybe like six months ago extremely religious over a weekend you know oh, and ever wow. since then he's been telling me oh dude you're gonna go to hell oh, and I, I feel really bad because i don't want that to happen to oh, you and i'm gonna God. hope that you get saved because i don't want you to go to, to, go to hell and he says mm. this like every day oh god what the fuck do i say How i annoying. need something better than ah yeah none of that's real i need something good so let me know Dude, how annoying is it that these people go through their shit and then real and then think something and then they bother you about it all the time and now you have to deal with it because they did something and changed their minds dude that is so maddening hey man you did this yeah. you deal with it i don't want to fucking think about this congratulations for your good time stop talking about i'm not go fuck yourself here's, that's so annoying here's the problem the root of the problem is that a lot of well religion i was gonna say christianity a lot of branches of christianity but a lot of religions in general consider it their sole purpose while yeah. they're living on earth to spread yeah. word and convert right. people that's why judaism in an objective way is the best religion they're not doing that at all. Mm. It doesn't say anywhere in their text, nor do the, peop the people who are Jewish try to get That's other people to be Jewish. That's why there's only 14 million of them. 
I mean, that's one reason. They yeah. don't evangelize. I know. But that's the, the best thing about them. I know. It's an elite club, dude. We they can't fucking, get into. They, well, you can. You they just cannot aren't, get into it. They aren't on the streets like this fucking You can walk around hat. and be like, ah, hello, well, where is the Jewish Being center? Like, they I don't want give you to go to, to hell. Not Jewish. You know? They won't give it to you. You could have matzah. You could have everything. Oh, hey, but, but I swear, I'm Jewish. And they're like, what was your mom? She was Christian. All right, well, you're not Jewish. No, you can be You can be Jewish. Can't get in. You can be Jewish always if you just convert to Judaism. Can't convert. You're they won't just, allow it. You're just Dude, wrong. I, I know. But you know what? Uh, just tell the guy here. Do, say like, man, I really want to save you. You should be Christian. Do that. D- 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 this is what you do. Man, I really, I don't want you to go to hell. Uh-huh. I don't want to see that happen to you. I care about you. So okay. you should, I want you to be Christian. Uh, okay, I'm Christian. Okay, great. I, I, I did it. Thank you. Thanks, man. Yeah. Done. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you don't have to worry about lying well, because thing, you're not, you don't believe in having ever health. The thing you have to be careful of is that then he probably will want to talk to you about all but the But then at least it's fun. It. But no, that's not fun. He doesn't want to talk you about it. You can make it a, a thing for yourself, though. You're like, oh, man, isn't it awesome how God, you know, they died for all our sins? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, dude, that was so cool. That's crazy, man. If you really read into it, you can read a whole bunch of stuff and it just learn so much. But, just what say that. You, but what you could also say is, listen, the amount that you want me to be Christian mm-hmm. is the amount I want you to stop telling me to be Christian. So what are we going to do here? What we're going to do here is you're going to stop or else I'm going to fucking kill you. Okay, well. That's my advice to you. Now you're going to hell then. <laughs> that's what he said mm-hmm. yeah. as he's being choked. Yeah. You're going to go to hell. Yeah. You're going to go to hell for this and other things. Like to Baba Dirk. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris and Matt, big fans, especially you, Chris. You're my boy, nope. dude. Been so a dude. fan forever. Just, why not just love leave? all your stand up, love all your stuff, dude. Matt, you're cool too, I guess. No, no, um, I, don't, I don't accept basically, that. Basically, I've got a sitch with my girlfriend. Um, turns out she likes girls, and I'm super supportive, obviously, and I'm proud that she came out and told me about it. But it hurt because I felt like I was doing something wrong. But after some talking, we realized no, it's just something that. Obviously, she can't help, and nothing really sort of woke that up in her. That's just how she is. I love her the same. I actually, though, want your guys' advice on, am I an asshole if I want to still try to make it work with her? What? Because she's kind of my everything, and I can't really imagine life without her. Um, Do you think there's a way we could stay together even though now I know that she likes girls? What it's a you, tough one, what? and if you guys think I should just break up with let me know. Oh. Anyways, love the show so much. Keep rocking it. You guys are awesome. What's Thanks. tough about that? Does she still love you? So Dude, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened to this guy. What the fuck was that? Uh, that's a hero song. But no, but like, what is the... Pr- well, he, is she saying, I don't love you, I only am attracted yeah, to women? that's different. Then obviously you shouldn't be with her, if you she's f- like a, fucking idiot. Well, she's going to break Hang up on. with you. But also, if she's saying, I also like women, but I, my feelings for you haven't changed, then obviously you stay with her, you f- fucking idiot. Now, why am I being so hard on you? Because you said, you threw me some fucking scraps at the top. You're like, oh man, I like you too. It was really just about fucking Chris. So I'm going to treat you. With the amount of shittiness you treated me, mm. you're a fucking idiot either way. Now go ahead. So dick. Um, mm-hmm. So so overboard. Um, <laughs> you said you're pretty cool, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's not the, the opposite of you saying Say you're nothing. a fucking don't, idiot. Don't don't throw me some fucking scraps. Okay. So uh, she likes girls. So what? So what? It doesn't mean she doesn't want to be with you. If she doesn't want to be with you, then she'll break up with you. Don't worry about breaking up with yeah, her. Yeah, dude. What are you talking about? Second of all, third of all, whatever I'm at, dude. Uh, it, does she want to have? fun with other girls and you right <laughs> blind blind absolutely <laughs> completely blind hey dude I, i'm sorry but <laughs> what's the problem yeah i mean yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. this I, guy's I, calling with without a problem yeah dude hey dude i don't know what's going on man i got so much pussy it's crazy uh <laughs> it's, it's just falling out of my fucking pockets and shit i don't know how to do it i'm trying to collect it but do you have any containers uh what containers i should use i just go to the container store but i don't understand what's going on i got too much pussy around me. i keep coming i keep jizzing and uh i make so much money <laughs> no but like- what's up dude beanie what's up beanie what's up
That's dumb. What you, the last the assembly line of people just sitting naked, waiting to have sex with them. They could say, Beanie Thump, what's up? Blind, blind, dude. Uh, it so, would be so actually hectic if that was your thing. Now, what is he saying? If we had to guess, what uh, are you talking about, guy? Uh, he is saying, uh, he, the he doesn't understand what, what it's like. He's like, he doesn't get it. You know what he, it is? He doesn't, he, he don't got it like that, right? So you could, there's what you go. Oh, hey, I'm dating a, a girl for a while. Oh, hey, guess what? Hey, hey, I like girls. I go like this. Cool, mommy. Who cares? You leaving me? No. Cool, mommy. You like right. girls? Me too. But guess what? I'm with you. Yeah, that's the, exactly right. the way mm -hmm. to think about it. Like, you oh, want to introduce girls like into girls? the bedroom? So do I. I'm only with one. Can you only be with one? Yep. Great. Yep. Nothing changed. Yay! Yep. Yep. Nothing yep. changed at yeah, all. Yeah, welcome to the Woo! Nothing Changed Party. We're inviting everybody over for the Nothing Changed Party. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> wow, status <laughs> quo. Exactly status quo. Nothing changed at all. Woo! <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> taking it so far. The, the poppers, you know? <laughs> Plopper, poppers suck. Ploppers. One I know, plopper. because they don't go far. Yeah. <laughs> and they go, they go like this. Dude, how about what you just did for some reason reminded me of gender reveal parties? Yeah. Well, hate them. They had me do one on Cameo. Check it out. Hate them. The drive by, hate them. Hate them. They had them. They had to come back to make sure you, they know I hate them. I did a, uh, I did a gender reveal for on um, Cameo. It was pretty cool. What was cool about it? Well, I just I felt honored that they asked me to reveal their. I was revealing it for their party. That's cool. But and gender was, reveal parties. No, no, no. I know. Suck. I know. I know. Yeah. Because Ooh, like. Yeah. Also, there, there's always the, every time I see one, mm -hmm. not every time, but like every three or four, there's always mm -hmm. one parent that's upset about the gender. And it's like, well, don't oh. do it if you're rooting for one. Yeah. You got to be excited about it either way. Uh -huh. Also, gives a shit. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Gives a shit, dude. What? About the gender Who of your child? Well, you care. But like, you once you know oh, you, you love the baby anyway yeah yeah, like, yeah. Oh, no 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 i i was re I, honestly if it was going to be a either one if they're gonna be a girl i would have been just as happy like i can't imagine being like once you know and then it becomes real for you because once you know it becomes real for you right like you're like yeah. oh hey it's gonna be a boy oh hey it's gonna be a girl yeah. then you think the, the next thought is oh my god i'm gonna love that boy girl whatever it is so much it's not, no, I wanted a boy. I can't, that it I can't wrap my though. head around. I know, I know. It, it People do that. do that. It is it that. Is that. It is that. <laughs> who who going to rule the bleep kingdom? So, um, yeah, it's an election. Um, yeah, but I, I can't believe that people do that, but they do. It's funny that gender reveal, the rise of gender reveal parties has coincided with also yeah. the belief that gender is a construct and not a real thing. Well, that's probably it's like, why, right? It's just funny though. It's like, yeah, those both can't be true. What what's happening here? Yeah, you know? I know. What's going on here? Uh, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, should we try to do one more or no? Yeah. Oh Delia my god. and Company. Hello. Hello. Um, love you both. Chris been a fan from Jump since like the roast of Justin Bieber. Whoa. Was at your taping of Man on Fire huh. in Vancouver. Oh really? Just saw you in Seattle in February. Oh cool. Matt. You're the one, period, end of story. Anyway, Man. what I would love like your guys' one, help with is no. the fact that I have a friend who's constantly meeting the love of her life. Oh. Like, she will meet a guy and within a matter of weeks be like, he is the one, we're getting married, this is my soulmate. And Man. then when it inevitably doesn't work out, I'm there picking up the pieces with her and working through what that looks like, talking mm -hmm. to her every day consoling her and then in a matter of weeks after oh, that no. she'll meet someone and go on one date and be like you're not going to believe this but i believe it we're getting married mm -hmm. and i'm not being hyperbolic this is seriously how she wow. responds to really? every single man and it's up and down and up and down and i love her and i want to be supportive but i'm tired of yeah. taking this ride with her mm -hmm. so what do you guys think i should do chat gpt uh, i fully understand what's going on here oh oh no i fully like can relate to her experience of what's going on. Oh. I know people like this. It is so, so frustrating and annoying. Mm -hmm. And you, ha you have to, t and they might not make a difference because they're probably still going to do it. Yeah. But you have to say, sort of like, not aggressively, but emphatically, you say this about everyone. And then when it inevitably, which it, of course, it is inevitable, 
it inevitably becomes not true, reveals itself to be not true, and you set yourself up to be super upset and you're doing that for a very avoidable reason. You need to stop projecting the future that you desire on every single partner you meet because it's probably just by way of regular how things always work out with people, it's probably not gonna work out with that one guy. Take it slow, avoid pain that you're basically directly causing yourself. Yeah. Stop doing that to yourself. Preach. Okay. Yeah, I don't do that, but I'm done. Uh, I feel like that's horseshit. What Honestly, I said? no, no. You, what you said is dead right. Just preach. You gotta stop. It's like, dude. Honestly, at some point, well, obviously you love the friend, and this is just one of the shortcomings, and it's not like a make or break thing. But yeah, you gotta just be like, yo, you do this all the time, you know, and please stop doing it because I, I'm waste. We're wasting a bunch of time here. Yeah, that's good too. And also, she. She's got a lot of problems. She, 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 she should go to therapy. She got a lot of problems. Like she got like a real fucking like she's codependent probably. And you know what I mean? If, if that's how it is. When you meet somebody and it's... An, how do you like that many people, by the way? I know. That's the craziest I know, thing. I know, I know, I know. I know. Like I don't... I meet people I go like this. Show me you don't suck. Oh. Like that's the default. Right. Like Nah, I, I'm, I'm actually not like that. that. I, I That someone's worth your time. Right. Not like in a dick way, but like you don't no. just like... Why don't you tell her, hey, you're worth more than this shit. Yeah. Like, don't, you don't need to fall in love with all these guys. You're better than that. I believe in you. And you may not because deep down, you know, you're, you're looking for a man so hard. And also her energy, tell her that her energy that she's giving yes, off to you that, is definitely the energy that the guy's feeling. And that's what's chasing him away. Yeah. Yeah. She got to take a deep breath. Know that love will come, but it's not. Whitney Houston song. It's not like every new guy you meet you got to stop projecting your fantasy onto him like mm. let that come to you mm. and it's okay if you meet a guy and it isn't your fantasy and it isn't great in fact that's much more likely so why not in the beginning tell yourself that remind yourself of that mm. and let yourself not be so devastated if it doesn't work out mm -hmm. yeah yeah you know what the problem with people like this is and i'm just warning you there are a lot of people like this they don't whether they realize it or not they don't want to change. They want the right. drama to be high. They want the stakes to be high. Right. They want the high of, oh, I met the love of my life. And they want the low of the love of my life ruined everything for me. And you're never going to change. Well, I'm not saying that is what your friend is, but don't like, you're going to have to say something. And when you do, and you don't see anything materialize, you don't see your friend change at all. Don't be disappointed and definitely don't be surprised. It's very likely that they're doing it because somewhere deep inside them, they want to. Addicted to the drama. Yeah. Two part. Yep. Thanks so. for that. Okay. Uh, yeah, there you go. And I appreciate you. I'll be in Vancouver next year. So be on the lookout. Great. Even though you're just something in Seattle. Um, all right. Well, that's good. Listen, you want to go to Lifeline Luxury and watch our uh, show, Lifeline Luxury, go to patreon.com life slash Lifeline Luxury. I'm on tour. I will be in uh, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia. And uh, a bunch of different places. Pittsburgh, Reading, um, Philadelphia, go to Cleveland, Detroit, chrisley.com. And then, uh, you know, uh, what else we got going on? You leave a comment, please. That's good for the algorithm. And then go to watchlifeline.com to click in and get, do, send us a submission. We love that. And if you want one-on-one -on -one advice sessions with Matt right here, go to mattdelia.com. You zoom with him and hit that merch button, lifelinemerch.com. Thank you very much. Get every item of the merch or I don't love you. Hello.